Hey, drunken peasants, I was just wondering if you guys ever heard of the snowball Earth theory, which, uh, in its basics, in the very beginning of Earth was a warmer period due to the methane gas, but as first life emerged, their waste product was oxygen, and the built-up oxygen actually cooled the Earth and kind of drove it into an ice age where there was like a mile thick of ice between the atmosphere and the ocean, and scientists theorized the only way that life could survive was off hydrothermal vents underwater, as much life does today. And that environment is actually just like how the moon Europa is. And we recently discovered that there is plate tectonic activity in Europa. And for me, that kind of solidifies the idea that life is surviving off of hydrothermal vents underneath Europa's ice. My question to you is, do you think that's possible? Do you think that's most likely? And do you think we should be spending money and resources and time trying to figure that out and try to explore Europa or other planets and moons in our galaxy or beyond? Thanks. Um, well, I think that as beings who have been... I don't know, either blessed or cursed, depending on your point of view, with consciousness and the ability to even understand this information on any level. I think that it, it, you know, it should be our duty and objective to try to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos and try to understand reality and try to um, try to see. I mean, what's out there? If we, I mean, like, if, I don't understand the point of view that we need to be. Um, isolated from like you know some people they just don't have any intellectual curiosity they don't they don't have any interest in exploring they don't really have any interest in discovering new knowledge because they only ask well how what how does this help me but we've seen that learning new things has been of tremendous benefit to the human species everything that all of the convenience of modernity that we kind of take for granted as something that just exists for us was really hard fought by, you know, not just scientific minds, but philosophical minds and artistic minds and people who challenged, you know, s the status quo, people who fucking cared about new information, people who cared about creating new things or discovering new things. Um, so, I mean, of course we should explore this. Of course we should try to see if there's life forms feeding off the thermal vents of Europa. We know that there's life forms that feed off the thermal vents here now that don't rely on the sun's energy at all, that are just, to they are just feeding off the planet's energy. And if that's possible here, there's no reason it shouldn't be possible there. And even the possibility, even if we believe the possibility is incredibly remote, it's worth exploring. It's worth pouring resources into. Because then we have some new knowledge. And maybe that new knowledge leads to an explanation of how life emerges. Maybe studying that new life form tells us the nature of life itself. Because now we have a basis of comparison. How is this, how is this thing different from us? How is it similar to us? And, you know, what, what is its potential ultimately? So, yeah, I think that it's, it's worth investigating.